Hey there clan and welcome to another Warrior's Thoughts. This time we'll be talking about a game that has piqued my interest of late by a developer whose last game brought me to tears in the end. That game was Life is Strange and the developer is Don't Not Entertainment. Don't Not Entertainment's next game is called Vampire and is set for release in early 2017. So it's a bit of a ways off but I thought I'd give my early thoughts on it here. Vampire is going to be an RPG set in the early 20th century and you will be playing a character called Jonathan E. Reed, a high-ranking military surgeon who was turned into a vampire against his will by a patient of his that he thought he was treating for the Spanish flu. The game is supposedly going to be focused heavily on player choice like Don't Know's other games Remember Me and Life is Strange, most notably on whether or not the player will give in to the character's vampiric nature and feed on human blood which will make them more powerful, or try to salvage their humanity and fight the urges that drives them, using their vampiric powers for both good or evil, or maybe a bit of both. This would not be the first game to do something like this, most notably Vampire the Masquerade, which from early inclinations Vampire will be taking inspiration from, dealt with the player's choices and their vampiric nature. Okay, info dump done. Hey, <laughs> here's my thoughts on it. I do have an interest in the lore of vampires. Growing up, I watched shows like Buffy the Vampire Slayer and Angel, and the two shows that I've watched way, way, way too many times. I am interested in see how Don't Nod will handle this particular topic, Angel in particular being the show that I use as an example of a vampire fighting against its instincts to feed on humans and killing to survive. It got that topic on pretty damn spot on in my opinion and is the example I will use when I eventually do play this game. Also setting the game in early 20th century London does also have an interest to me as well as that particular time period is ripe for gothic themed stories and atmosphere, allowing the developers to play around with ideas of urban legends of the time and maybe even using some historical characters or facts for that time period. Something else that is making this game a day one buy for me is an article I read on Polygon. I will link it in the description and I highly recommend you give it a little bit of a read if you want some insight into the gaming industry. As the, the main factor is unlike Life is Strange, Don't Nod won't be having, one, having some problems with getting a publisher due to the fact that one of the major factors that made Life is Strange difficult to find a publisher was the fact that it had a main female lead. No I'm not kidding about that, that was really a problem. Thank you Square Enix for actually publishing the game. Don't know, due to the success of Life is Strange selling over 1 million copies which makes me grin ear to ear, Don't Nod Entertainment are allowed to work on Vampire and make the game that they want to make and hopefully allow them to experiment and try new things with this. It'll be interesting to see what they can do with this freedom and hopefully it'll be a nice little change of pace. I thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to let me know what your thoughts are on Vampire in the comments down below and what you are hoping for. Other than that, I'll see you all next time. Just like a game, you'll win some, you'll taste defeat.